Here are five things to know before you buy the Ilia Balmy Tint Hydrating Lip Balm. Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I am Britt, creator of The Style Shaker. These were gifted by the brand under no obligation to review, so you're gonna get my honest review no matter what. I purchased my own product and then they sent me more, so. <laughs> Like, I've tried a lot of the colors. If you like these honest reviews and you want to keep seeing more of them, don't forget to take two seconds. Hit that like button, share it with a friend who's on their clean beauty journey and could use some help. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's hit the ingredients scan, shall we? Okay. Uh, also, I have these in Runway, Memoir, and Lullaby, so I will tell you my favorite color at the end of this, but you'll get swatches for everything. Links to all the products will also be below. For their 10 year anniversary, Ilya reformulated this lip balm. It's gonna be more moisturizing, they said. It has castor oil, jojoba, shea, rosehip seed, cocoa seed, and so many more, and they're higher up on the list, and I can tell you that it feels as moisturizing as it sounds. Coconut derivatives, essential oils are also on the list. They're further down, but if you're really anti-essential oil, keep that in mind. Other than that, zero red flags. Do read the disclaimer, do read the disclaimer. Thank you, thank you. Application, sometimes they're not as creamy dreamy as we like them to be. Sometimes they get everywhere, you know? Like sometimes the actual packaging gets in the way. None of that here. It is smooth, it is easy to apply. I didn't need a mirror. I mean, it, it pays off, I'll talk about that in a second. But you wanna be careful because you don't wanna like overdo it unless you like that look but it could not have been easier. It really truly feels amazing going on having tried a lot of lip balms. Lip balms are my wheelhouse. I love a lip balm, especially in the drier winter temperatures. Oof, good. Five out of five on the scorecard. Next up, you're gonna wanna know if this pays off. Like, does it look pretty and then not look pretty? Uh, you know, does is the pigment there? Claim is that it provides sheer buildable color. The color is there. The payoff is 100% evident upon a light swipe in all of the colors that I tried. Also, yeah, claim is correct. It is very buildable. Without feeling heavy or sticky or tacky, it's just like, oof. I can't stop making that noise. So good. Five out of five on the scorecard. Here's the thing. A lot of people don't talk about this with makeup, like lipsticks and stuff, but I can't stand when they're overly scented, so I like to include that on my scorecard. Plus, I know a lot of you hate the overly scented stuff. Nothing. Nothing. Does it kind of hit the back of the throat? Nothing. Easy. Five out of five. Finally, the wear test. If I wasn't wowed enough by how this feels going on in the lips, wah, the wear test was so good held on like a champ, lasted almost all day, through meals, through meals. And like, I am not a dainty eater. These were big salads. Okay, sorry, I just, I literally just ate food. It is closer to 2 p.m. There's still balm. Is that even possible? I don't even know. I It was a big salad. I can still feel it. The pigment is certainly worn off, but the moisture and the hydration is still there. So impressive. And this is almost seven hours since I put it on. It good. It stuck around really well. Yeah, I mean, of course it faded a little bit, but it faded evenly, which is also really nice. So you're not getting that ring around thing. Great. And it wasn't the kind of balm where you use it and you're like, why are my lips getting drier sooner? That happens a lot. I don't know if it happens to you, but it happens to me. Not an issue. It was truly moisturizing. <laughs> Final score, almost perfect. 19 out of 20. Ugh. Yeah, my final verdict, would I buy these again? I mean, I wish they had refills, but yes, I would buy these again in a heartbeat. They feel wonderful. I already made it to the Brits Picks page. Spoiler alert, they're already on there, so they're great. I actually really liked the shade Lullaby the most. It felt like the most cool shade for me, which I was just gravitating towards. Only thing about these is that the colors are very similar. So it could be a good thing, but it could kind of be not a great thing. I wish there was a little bit more variety in color, so maybe they're gonna expand it. Maybe not. That's really, if I'm nitpicking, that would be it. And there's the Hene Organics Balm as well, which feels like a dream. It's very similar to this. It's $7 less. I will put a link below, but I haven't really, truly put these head to head in a battle. There, it's gonna be a tough battle. That's what the scorecard says, that's my verdict. What do you think about this lip balm or these lip balms? Are you obsessed with them? Do you love them? I don't wanna say obsessed. What do you think about these lip balms? Are you into it? Are you gonna buy it? Have you already bought it? Do you love it? Do you not love it? Share your opinion below. It really, really helps to have other opinions and perspectives over here. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this helpful, do take two seconds to hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. Videos come out weekly. I'm gonna go put this in my handbag because I use it all the time. Honest truth. I'll see you right back here real soon. Until then, bye. It's 4.20. I should not be drinking coffee. I mean, if I were in California, 
Ah, uh, this is a family channel. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right.